think when a girl celebrates 21, it depends on where you live. If you live in the South, where I grew up, a lot of girls that celebrated 21 were pretty wild. I haven't really had to do anything too crazy. I'm just like having flashes in my brain of picking someone up and carrying them onto a train in the middle of the night in Japan and getting them home, but there was nothing crazy about it. I think it's something that we all go through, you know, and it's a it's one crazy night that we have with our friends that maybe we remember, maybe we don't. Um, but we all hit that 21 age. We're dying to hit it. I mean, I had to work out. I had to do some crunches. Miles and I were having competitions on who could look better without the robe. I think it's hilarious, and uh, I don't think it's gratuitous. You know what I mean? So as long as it makes sense, I'll do whatever. If this makes you think of college or old friendships or high school or what it's going to be like when I get to college, I really think it's got something for everyone. There's the witty banter. There's I was teasing uh, Miles about what he was wearing. Like it's the same crap, um, and that's what best friends are. You know, they it's like time has passed, but no time has passed at all. And that's how I am with my good old buddies from home. So yeah, we get along really well. Hopefully, connects to like you know kids and adults and stuff for rated R. Like good raunchy comedy is good. It's a good feeling. Man. I've always had support from my parents for everything I've ever done. And I honestly, there's like eight of my best friends that flew out here from Florida for this, so it's pretty cool. I mean, I've had, mo I've never had a moment where my best friend was so selfish where he'd black out drunk and pass out, and make me carry him the whole night. I've never had that because my friends aren't selfish. But um, yeah, I've had, I've had, I've certainly had nights where like somebody had to tell me where to go. Me and Skyler, we both wore our tube socks, and I may or may not have put some stuff in mine just to give it a little extra swing action. Hopefully, people enjoy it. And I'm, I just can't wait for people to see like some of the crazy stuff we do in the movie. Actually, I haven't cried my mom for anything, so she doesn't know what the hell she's about to see. Like, I just had to do use the one that I used because that was the only way it was going to stay on well. So, I mean, it was a drawstring and like it cuts off the circulation to your nuts. So, like, you know, it was only like I can only do it for about 30 minutes at a time. My 21st birthday, I, I uh, started off uh, drinking with some friends. I was studying abroad in South Korea, and then uh, I don't remember anything. I just like I just woke up, propped up against a pharmacy door, and my my shirt started off white and it was black, and I woke up because it was raining on me. Um, that was a pretty crazy story. Oh, I went to Rosarito, and uh, we it was you know when the cameras used to have the the, the night vision, it was green, and. Um, we pretended we were with MTV and also like we're doing a segment on Girls Gone Wild and people are willing to do pretty much anything when you have a camera in your hand. She is here. She hasn't seen it yet, but uh, I guess we'll know afterwards if she approves of it or not. She's a cool mom though. <laughs> she rolls She rolls pretty R-rated. Yeah. yeah. The key to our directing style was that we have no idea what we're doing, so we're going to hire really far more talented people than we are. And I think when you see the movie, you can tell that those three guys just have like a friendship and that's... Uh, I don't know if you I don't know if you recognize it or hopefully it's I actually have all my college roommates here and we all if you if you shoot us we're all idiots just like that. Uh, so the great joy of those guys they feel like oh yeah I know those guys I recognize those guys I had fun with those guys and that's hopefully why people can see the movie. It's, it's been a long haul but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Like like hanging out in Seattle and just like shooting a movie and it just felt like actually going back to college again. It was a really good time. Yeah.